All right, welcome to the show. <laughs> Here with Bernardo, my brother, Bernardo Steinberg, our uh, master coach. Nice in to be Brazil, here. In his hometown of Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Always, open doors today. Yeah, yeah, open doors with a view of your city at sunset. Not bad. Very nice. That's my city. Did a little, played around a little bit with the club bell when we got, got here. We did some movements. Very nice to do it. Yeah. Felt good. Yeah. Awesome. How long have you uh, been in the TACFIT system, training TACFIT? I started 2013 or 2012, maybe, training alone with the videos, Scott videos. How did you find the Scott videos? I was training kettlebells, but I was researching, looking for different tools, and then uh, appeared something like club bells on the YouTube. It was Scott Sonnen doing the mill. Mm -hmm. I was impressed, and then I, I decided to research more. And then I found the first certification in Chile, Chile. It was Chile, 2013 or 14. Mm. So I stayed training for one year alone, without any reference, just the videos. But after the certification, I started to improve much more, to deal with the programs with more um, precision, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it took a, 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 like one or two years to train correctly the mm -hmm, system. Mm -hmm. I was training kind of doing crazy stuff, the more complex exercises. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you came back to Brazil, and then uh, how did you begin like sharing it with other people? I started with personal training because uh, I always thought that this would be easier for me to understand the system mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. less pressure. So I started with my PT clients that uh, were willing to learn. They were interested already mm -hmm. in the body weight stuff, the club bells. So I pick up like two clients all, the whole gym was looking while we were training, and then uh, doing two, some of the shoulder screws and yeah, exactly. flow mobility and drills, and kettlebells. Did you bring some club bells? With club you too? bells, club bells. I had one, and then I, I purchased more. But I started with one club bell of seven kilos, fifteen pounds, mm -hmm. and uh, two instructors. Uh, the early instructors we had, Livia and Tachi, mm -hmm. they got in touch with me because they they were willing to learn as well mm -hmm. so it started small and then step by step new people are joining clients and uh, instructors wanting to learn more so we started to promote the first workshops with the consent of scott sonum mm -hmm. and nikolai travikin at the time so i i kept studying training to do the other certifications the cst I did, training, I did yeah. everything, so I did the team leader. The, at the time, it, the level two was level the team two, leader. Yeah. yeah. So I did it in Costa Rica and started to promote even more the system. So the, the beginning was like that. It was very small with two, three instructors. And then we started to have more and more people coming up. And the more you train, right, the more you get invested, the more, the deeper you go into the system, right? Uh, fit is... It's the same feeling of a martial arts for me. Mm -hmm. I always uh, liked to do martial arts, to practice this kind of lifestyle. I was like, uh, I always liked action movies with samurais, this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, Tak Fit impressed me a lot due to the depth of the, the, the knowledge. The, it's like a wise system. It brings you more wisdom because it put, puts you in touch with your intuition as well, mm -hmm. a decision making. It's not, it's not easy. It's very hard, actually. You need to learn how to deal with this harshness so you can tear many benefits from it, learn a lot about yourself. Yeah. It's always a struggle, but it's a good struggle for you to improve. So it was like uh, mind blowing to me when I started to, because I'm kind of nerd. When I started to pick up the books and the manuals, I saw that there's too much things to study. There is a lot of things to study. So this is profound. I like yeah. that. Yeah, one of the things I really enjoy, like you just taught the Club L certification in LA this last month. Uh, it's just like your deep knowledge of the system. Like a lot of people haven't gone through every single program in, on TACFIT.com, but you have. Yeah, I read everything. I didn't practice all the, pro all the trainings because some take a lot of time. 
but at least read and practice the components, the exercises to see what co uh, coach was trying to bring to us. Because he put these programs, it's almost like a download. You, you, you train, you practice, you study, and you incorporate that information into your uh, repertoire. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you have like a... It's your life, right? It's like um, learning a new language with TACFIT because it redefines everything in terms of how you wire things for the training. The perception you have for your clients, yeah. uh, the perception you have of your own body while you're training, you know, all this stuff is a lot of psychology as well. It's not only about the physiology and biomechanics, a lot of uh, psychology. Yeah. So this yeah. is very powerful. I mean, it changes your mindset, right? When you do, when you do the system, right? It teaches Change. when you train, right? When you train periodly. It's, period. it's kind of like a martial arts because mm -hmm. some people like uh, are afraid of doing martial arts. They have some blockages they don't like. They, they, think, they think they are not for martial arts, but when they start to, to train TACFIT, they have a, a little bit of that sensation, mm -hmm. the discipline, TACFIT bring all you that. You think it's like a martial art, art, like yes. a martial art with yourself? With, yeah, exactly, I think. Could you say that? Something like that, yes. Because it's always a struggle. You need always to come back to, to the basics, to the white yeah. belt. So. It's not about only improving. You need to learn how to step back sometimes, clean the slate. You know, there are many principles that if you apply, you, you for sure you will live better. Mm -hmm. You will have more like uh, quality of life. Yeah. What's kept you in the system all these years? As I believe, you know, because it's not about only the results I felt, but um, physically but this this kind of mental result you know the mental health even before the pandemics this is more like uh, urgent now you see people suffering struggling with mental issues yeah. but i found that uh, much earlier than the pandemics because uh, i always have tdhd you know uh, like a syndrome of lack of uh, attention you know uh, adhd adhd yes yeah. I always suffer with Attention that. Attention deficit uh, hyperactivity disorder. Exactly. I Yes, kind of dyslexic like as well, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was a child, doctors wanted to give me medication. medication for attention, you know. But my mother invested in me in another, another way because the medicines were not making well for my, my, my personal being. So she invested in martial arts. She put ah, okay. me to do Taekwondo. There you go. You know, so... That's I felt like I need more like investing time in my physicality, in my like applying attention during effort. So I felt this connection with TACFIT as well, you know, after being a while, being a while away from martial arts, I felt that feedback, the same response in my body, the same drive, the determination, the willpower that you build up. So I, I, I found that the system is very important for people, not only for the physicality, but the mental health, especially. Because I felt like it was giving more like a centered mindset, more calm. Instead centered of being, mindset, yeah. Yes, yeah. instead of like being running too much, rushing, I'm kind of like that, you know, too much energetic. So TACFIT put me in a I situation. Ground you. Grounded, exactly. More grounded. It's like a... It's, even more than mental, it's spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it gives all these this three aspects, mind, body, and spirit, you know? Love it, that's it. You know, even, you know, watching all the programs, doing the programs for all these years, how does it feel for you to have your own program on, on TACFIT? Wow, it's amazing, it's amazing. After all these I, years, right? I feel very honored for this opportunity because I started to invest, I never knew where could I achieve or if I would have space for me on the system, how it, it will go. Né? But uh, I was very fortunate to, to have this crew, these people working with me to keep um, like uh, incentivating me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, to keep working. And I'm very happy to share something with everybody. My, my opportunity to, to share something. Besides the opportunity of giving some certifications as well. Mm -hmm. This was a long time yeah. dream so for me. My first time coming over here right with you was uh, when you did the first TAC for certification in Brasilia. In Brasilia, yes, exactly. With Alan and everybody. Yeah. Exactly. You told me that, that uh, 
if I keep investing, I will go far, far, uh, far with okay. the system. We'll develop a lot. So I'm very happy to arrive at this moment when the, these things are happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's, you know, I'm saying like, how does it feel? But it's like, for me, you know, you're, I'm always learning from you. Like, we come, like you did the certification last week and I'm like, you blew my mind with all the content information you have, right? And you, I feel like you can digest make it more digestible, all the information. Sometimes it's hard to understand, but you make it simple for most people to understand, you know? So I really appreciate that, you know? Yeah, I thank you. And I think this is a part of my process because I, I was dealing with clients, mm -hmm. the language is different, and with professionals. So I needed to understand how to translate information. You know, I think I'm good about that, uh, interpreting information and translating some stuff. And, I think I'm good with language and communication. So this helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm not like uh, easy with the physicality, the yeah, physical yeah. aspect. I always have difficulties, like many injuries, many, many problems, you know, I need to work. That's why I love the system because it gave me what I need to solve my own problems, mm -hmm. you know? Gives you a lot of regressions, progression, make freedom. it easier and make it harder. Exactly, it levels. gave me freedom. I like to choose what I'm, I'm gonna do. Because you need different things on different days, right? Intuition. I like to use intuition. I always lo love the discipline of doing what you have to do, but I like some room to to do some to play, tests, yeah. to uh -huh. play, to test new things. And TACFIT gives you a lot of options to practice freely with club bells, with into flow. You have many approaches, uh, many means and methods to work with. So I can have a pragmatic approach, a training programmed but i also practice a lot when i have a free time mm -hmm. yeah. so it gives me a lot of things that i need yeah so what were you th you know i know you've been thinking about you know you've been doing other training uh the the brazilian legion the tech with Brazil, uh, legion in brazil and uh, teaching for so many years what was your what, were, what was your thought in making this uh, in making body weights and club bell dynamics yes um I will, I'm training a lot of people from instructors to clients mm -hmm. and I, I, I saw many people that want to jump in but they think it's too complex or too hard for them and uh, I decided to, to organize something that is simple enough for everybody to do, not only for instructors mm -hmm. because all of, our, all of our programs in the site are very good but some are very tough, very complex, complex. Yeah. complex. So for I start a lot of steps which takes, takes you years to learn years, like the, exactly. the basic you need to parts scale up. Of, of those techniques. Yeah. Perfect. So I thought like that, simple minded for some people that maybe are coming from sedentary lifestyle. They will feel like uh, we'll have a good feeling. Mm -hmm. So they have an entrance level to start. Mm -hmm. Uh, I inspired a little bit with the programs with Isaac Milan, uh, Isaac, uh -huh. with the TACFIT 101, mm -hmm. like introductory, you know, I mixed a little bit of the club bell, uh, king of clubs, mm -hmm. okay, and the basic TACFIT body weight to give people freedom to work at their home, like I do myself, mm -hmm. I love to train at home, give me freedom, I, I have much more like um, velocity to do my stuff organize my agenda. So I wanted to share this with with everybody. Nice, nice, nice. Um, why did you choose body weight and club bell? I think they are the most versa versatile tools. Versatile. Uh -huh. versa versatile. <laughs> versatile. Versatile. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is a hard one. By the way, like your, your English is so good. I love, you know, you're able to, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's not easy, right? Speaking I try. Some language. words are crazy. Yeah. yeah versatile. Yeah. Versatile. Uh -huh. It's yes. so versatile, the club bell. Yeah. The body weight and the club bell. Club bells, because you have this uh, component of stretching your fascias, your tissues, and the, 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 the body traction, weight the gives pulling, the compression. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's like mixing flow, flow fit with club bells as well. You have the, the factor of compressing and pull in the body. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect mix and gives freedom for everybody. It's like you become a nomad. You can have your club bell on the, the car. It's easy to bring with you mm -hmm. for a road trip, for example. Mm -hmm. It's not so heavy. You can have like one club bell of seven kilos or 10 kilos, and that is enough for have an amazing workout mm -hmm. with body weight. And somebody experienced 
we were talking earlier about how you can just, you know, get a heavier club bell, right? And then maybe I, I was thinking myself, you know, if you know, everybody teaches things a little bit different, so having your take on things, right? But if you want to make it harder or for somebody that's advanced in the system, they can just get a heavier club bell, right? A heavier club bell. For this program, uh, the intention was not to build up more and more complexity because this can scale up for impressive levels. So everybody, even the advanced, have benefits by going simpler, but with higher loads. You know, if you grab a 45 pound kettlebell, club bell, you will have many great results. For hypertrophy, for example, for hypertrophy, it's better to have simple components mm -hmm. than too much complexity, you know? So if you're like, uh, I'm stacked, I, I'm uh, staggered in my hypertrophy development, Maybe you're doing too much complexity mm -hmm. and not coming back to simplicity, some, some level of, uh, for example, swings, casts, you're doing only meals and clockwork squats, but with lighter weights, maybe by doing simpler versions of these movements with higher loads, you can have more hypertrophy, you know? So the range of effort I put in this program could you, is could good you for hypertrophy as well. Hypertro hypertrophy, could you, could you explain those, uh, that, that just for a, in, in layman's terms, simple terms? Yeah, of course. Somebody it's, that doesn't know, non-fitness people or yeah. people that know, hypertrophy don't know that Hypertrophy is, is a physiological adaptation to strength training. So when you, you put stress on the muscle, it will break down in a way, it will be inflamed, uh, inflammatory response. But when you recover with good recovery in sleep and movement, you will have adaptations. And the adaptation is growing the amounts of fibers, muscle fibers you have. Mm -hmm. And this is very important for health maintenance and, and um, longevity. If you have like a lot of muscle mass, you suffer an accident. This may be the difference between you, between you being alive or dead. You know, mm -hmm. because when you struggle or you have sickness, you lose uh, body weight. You lose your mass. So if you have more muscles, you have more uh, capability to recover. And this is good for the brain as well. So it's a health measurement to have hypertrophy. Mm -hmm. When you get older, you start to have sarcopeny. You lose muscles. Mm -hmm. And this is awful because if you felt, if you fall on the ground, you break bones, you lose the density of your body. Okay, so hypertrophy is very important. It's not only statical, all right? So, it's important to train strength for nervous system adaptation with maximum effort, but it's more complex mm -hmm. to deal with higher loads. So a hypertrophy is very good for beginners, for everybody to train. Mm -hmm. There is a certain range of repetitions, range of recovery time, the pause you will have. You have some the presets rest, yeah. that you pay, need to pay attention mm -hmm. uh, in a training setup. To have this mm -hmm. all right then you need to have recovery and proper food feeding so but th that's it hypertrophy is very important it's not mm -hmm. something that you look only for the high static static purpose mm -hmm. you know we've traveled around the world like europe uh, all over the us right um what does the tac fit community mean to you like italy well, spain we've been life tech we've been we've been in a lot of places ah uh, i think it's always great it gives a boost of energy when you share experiences and train with different people uh it's always like what energetic does the, the tag fit legion mean to you around the world uh, it means a lot it's like uh more than friends i learn with them they are my references many instructors many professors um colleagues and friends you know it's about this friendship we we are far away sometimes but we always have this friendly relationship and respectful relationship. We learn with each other. So I think the community is the most important thing of the system, this ecosystem, right? <laughs> because yeah, we yeah. share, we grow, that you bring up new ideas, new explanations, new way to see th things. I think it's, it's vital for the system to keep growing, to have this uh, heterogeneous right? groups from mm -hmm. uh, all over the count, all over the world, you know? I think it's very important. It's much better than the things separated, like after the pandemic. This is one thing, a side effect from this pandemic. Yeah. Besides the mental issues, mental health issues, many people start to struggle like by themselves, trying to, it's like a jungle, you know, fighting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for resources. So I think uh, 
this make many groups collapse due to personal interests. And I think that uh, this kind of community make us be more human because we need this communication, this contact, feeling part of something. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about the Brazilian Legion, the TACFIT Brazilian Legion. Yeah, we, we have like a recycling phase. We have many people from the beginning that are not with us anymore, but they, they still are proud about doing the certification. They are proud about the information they keep spreading, although they are not more with us. But we are always renewing. People are coming, new people are coming. Some people are very like uh, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, yes, enthusiastic mm -hmm. with the system. Uh, we are talking about people that already did tattoos with the TACFIT tattoos, logo. Yeah. So, <laughs> TACFIT promotes that. And the guy's that. asking me when, when I'm going to get mine, right? <laughs> yeah, I need to do one like this on the t-shirt here. But it's it's very like uh, interesting because some people got... This is like a mosquito, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, got, you have that. Some people are get, get crazy with TACFIT like I did. Some people grab one information and go to work. And that's fine, you know? Some people got more into this, this vibe. Yeah. But, but we, we allow people to stay free, to work, to do whatever they want. Awesome. Well, thank you for all of your work here in Brazil. And uh, really, now around the world, right, with uh, your program, you get to be, share a piece of yourself for, for the worldwide community. I am thank you. I am thankful for you to give me that chance, the Scott Sono uh, as well, brother, brother. because for me it's an honor to represent the system. Yeah, I really honor love. Is, I live is that. This is my lifestyle. I wake up doing mobility. When I have 20 minutes, I do a short workout. You know, you, you stop to lose time when you learn TACFIT. You gain time. You gain life quality. Time to stay with your friends. You know, it's very powerful. Very powerful. Yeah, honor is mine and ours, right? I should say ours. So thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Us.